Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to look at a problem that involves prime factorization and some core concepts in uh, factors and multiples. It's, it's number 105 on the FTC general knowledge practice test. Let's take a closer look. A principal is walking past a teacher's classroom and overhears him say the following. So the numbers in the set have exactly two whole number factors, one and the number itself. When the principal peeks into the door, she sees the numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 written on the board. Which Sunshine State math standard is the teacher addressing? And it gives us a whole bunch of different standards here. You can take a moment read these over. This is, by the way, uh, a practice test for teachers in Florida that are preparing for their FTC teacher certification exams. But the core math on this is going to be the same for all states. So you could be a teacher preparing for the MTELs in Massachusetts, or a teacher in California, or New Jersey, or, uh, Matt, uh, or New York, preparing for your teacher certification exam. All right, so use this to review the core. Now, uh, the options here, we're trying to find out what would match up with something involving two whole factors, something having two whole factors, uh, whole number factors, and they have to be one in itself. And this leads us into the idea of prime numbers. Because prime numbers are numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 that have only two factors. So what do I mean by that? Well, 2 can be divided by 1 and 2 evenly with no remainder. So we say that 2 has two, um, two whole number factors, one in itself. 3 has two factors, 1 and 3, or again, this idea that it's, it can be divided, prime numbers can only be divided by 1 and themselves. So 2, 3, 5, these are your first three prime numbers. All right? And um, these numbers here we call the factors of 2, the factors of 3, the factors of 5. This is prime numbers. Now, when you look at these answer choices, you start looking, you, I see factors here, I see multiples here, I see whole numbers, I see real numbers, I see prime factorization of numbers. There's a lot of vocabulary here. You can probably, if you're working through this, you can probably, if you catch up, catch that it's talking about prime numbers, then maybe you make the direct connection that we're probably doing prime factorization. But it's very easy to confuse prime factorization with factors and multiples. There's, there's a lot of overlap here. So I thought what I'd do is, even though the answer is C here, this is a lesson involving prime factorization, what I wanted to do very quickly is clarify uh, these three major concepts. Factors, multiples, and prime factorization. Because uh, this is where a lot of teachers, you know, they get it confused. They, they, they start thinking, you know, it's kind of, whoops, I'll just make that an I. Ah, screen moving. They get these three confused. So let's clarify it right now. If, you, if we had a number like, let's say, 12, and I wanted to find out the factors of 12, well, I would use something called an upside down rainbow. It's not a it's a, not a, a a factor tree. It's an upside down rainbow. And the way it goes is this. 1 goes into 12 evenly with no remainder and 12 goes into 12 evenly, no remainder. Also 2 and 6, 3 and 4. So we could say 12, you know, has you know, six factors. And the way I figured out the factors here is I used an upside down rainbow to organize the factor pairs and I came up with six numbers that go into 12 evenly. So 12 has six factors. Now let's say I wanted to find out the multiples of 12. Well whenever you see multiples, multiples are like um, multiples are like your multiplication tables. So think of it like 1 times 12 is 12, 2 times 12 is 24, 3 times 12 is 36, 4 times 12 is 48, and so on. So multiples of 12 
have to do with um, just listing the uh, multiples themselves of, of 12 or whatever number you're given. Now this third one has the word prime number and it, ha and it has factor in there and it can get confused with prime factorization and you know it's it gets a little confusing here but all we're gonna do with prime factorization is we're gonna write the number 12 and see and we're gonna try and pick out the prime factors that make up 12 for example 12 what two numbers m multiply to get to 12 well let's say you started with 2 and 6 2 times 6 is 12 2 is prime so I'm gonna leave that 2 alone these are connected by multiplication now what two numbers if you multiplied them out, what two numbers would get you to 6? 2 and 3. So 12 could be thought of as, right, we could think of it like 2 times 2 times 3. So the prime factorization of 12 we could write as 2 times 2 times 3. Or, you know, just to have this other way of writing it, we could write it as 2 to the second times 3 to the first. That's a, that's a 1. 2 to the second times 3 to the first. Okay, let's stop. Let's just stop here for a moment. We had this scenario with this problem. It's talking in the language of the problem. It's talking about prime numbers. So when we do prime factorization, we're definitely looking for those prime factors that um, make up the number. So it makes sense that uh, the teacher would review what a prime number is because that's what we're going to be looking for. We're going to keep on dividing numbers until we get to their prime. And that way we can come up with a prime factorization of the given number. So this answer here is definitely C. But it also has these other concepts like factors and multiples. And I, I think it's good to clarify and how to find out factors of a number. And it's good to also know what multiples are and how to list the multiples of a number. All right? Team, I hope you found this helpful. This is Chris Abram from GoMath. Have a great day. Take care. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful. Mm -hmm.